you guys what's happening. It's Joe D.I. and it's time for your Monday Minute. Come on over. We're going to give you a one-two punch today. We're all just getting back from Tahoe and some of us are even still sore. So before you go sitting at your desk again, here are two tricks. It's a one-two punch to get your hip mobility back where it used to be or where it should be or could be. Uh, the first one we're going to do is a static stretch. What we're going to do is go onto one knee and from this position, we're actually going to try to consciously tuck our tail a little bit, right? Which is going to kind of lengthen the front of our hip. From there, I'll grab my ankle with my back leg. And now I'm going to kind of move forward. Positioning the pelvis, tucking it, makes it so you can move forward. It feels like you can't move at all, but you're going to feel a major stretch right here. If I don't do that, I'm going to be able to go a lot farther. So think about tucking your tail a little bit, squeezing your butt, grabbing this back foot, and coming forward. We're going to do 10 seconds. We'll say five, four, three, two, one. Come out a little bit, re-squeeze, and return. And let's do 10 on each side. Once we've loosened up the front of our hips, it's time to try to engage the back. We're again going to use the same chair, and we want to use it as little as possible. So if you can get one finger, two finger, if you have to death grip it, you have to. But ideally, you would do this without touching the chair at all. What we're going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit so I make sure I get, it, you, get you a good demonstration. We're going to come down into this kind of single leg deadlift position. So I've got about a 20 degree bend in my knee. I've got as little weight as possible in my fingers. And what I'm going to do is try to open that hip up and then return. Stand up and I'll switch legs. So I'm here or here. I'm going to come down 20 degree knee bend. I want to rotate my body on top of this thigh. So on top of that femur, my whole body is rotated. I'll do another one on that side so you can see. Coming down, if I need to support myself, I can. And I want to try to open that hip up, remaining stable on this leg. This is going to combine mobility of the hip with stability of the core and knee, which is a great thing for anybody that plans on running long distances. I'm going to give you one more demo and we're going to call it a day. Here, I'm going to try hands on the head, I'm going to open that hip, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to return. I'm going to come down, notice I'm pushing my opposite heel back, that's helping me get this glute on. Then I'm going to open, close, and come up. These are called airplanes. Enjoy guys, post any questions, I'll try to answer them, and have a great day. Aru.